I want to show you these mind-blowing AI tools that are currently on AppSumo right now. Now, if you are on the search for the latest marketing tools to grow your business, I put all of my favorite ones in this spreadsheet. Many of these are on AppSumo as well. Now, if you want access to this free spreadsheet, just click the link in my description. Okay, so let's get started with the first hottest AI tool right now, and that is Ranklytics. Now, this one is similar to Surfer SEO and NeuronWriter, where you can optimize blog articles, but with Ranklytics, it's an AI that will generate the entire article for you and it will optimize it as well. So this is the dashboard for my website project. So it's essentially a three-step process. So once you create a website project, you need to add your keywords and you need to give it your domain and it'll find content ideas for you. You pick the one you like and then the AI will start writing an article around that content idea. You can also do keyword research, run a content audit. You can also schedule article generation so you can tell the AI to write articles automatically at specified time intervals. You could do a content gap, research competitors, and so forth. So let's try to write an article. We need to add our target keyword for the article, then click next. And the AI generates all of these titles for us. And just pick the one you like. And the AI provides us with semantic keywords that we would need to use in our article. And we have two options. We can generate using AI or do the freestyle writing where you can write it yourself. But let's do generate using AI. Then pick your style of writing. So since this is about essential oils, I'm gonna do informative. So we are on the first step. Now we need to create an outline. So it will use all this information to create our outline for our blog article. So this is the main headline with an introduction. And these are the H2s with brief explanations for each section. So we have our entire outline complete, then click on next. And now it is filling out that outline, every single uh, section with additional content. And you can see it right in real time. All right, so it generated close to 3000 words for this article. As you could see, the content is pretty varied, right? So it has emojis, it has external links, quotes, um, statistics, bullet points, and so forth. So just taking a quick glance at this, the text reads really well. Everything um, makes sense. And I like how everything is formatted. Now we can click on edit and we can edit the text. You can format the text however you want, add links, images, video, and you can also have the AI write additional content as well. So I highlighted that piece of text, then click on AI write, and this is what it generated. Now I'm not too fond of how it generated just this block of text at the very top. Um, I wish there was a way where you can specifically tell the AI to maybe tweak certain sentences, maybe certain paragraphs. Let's try this one. I'm gonna do AI write. And so this is what uh, it generated. So I wish it was a little bit more granular in terms of how we can edit the text with AI. And it adds some Surfer SEO Neuron Writer elements as well. So you can see the SEO score. We can see what elements are optimized or needs work. You can see the semantic words. It says use other related semantic words in the content. Uh, links, featured image. We can have the AI generate an image as well. And once you are done, just click on publish. And what's cool is that you can connect your WordPress uh, website and it'll push this article into your WordPress website where you can then publish it. So it makes publishing articles uh, very quick and easy. And all the content that you've created or are working on will be listed in your contents view. You can also view um, keywords as well. So these are the keywords uh, that I added and it checks these keywords against how well you are ranking, all right? So you can see all of these keywords I added, my website isn't ranking for them. We can see the average monthly searches, the difficulty score. Now this last keyword, I am ranking for it. So what's cool is that you can essentially write an article for each one of these keywords. You can even dig deeper by clicking into one of the keyword reports, see the secondary keywords, um, the content ideas, 
your top 10 competitors that are ranking for that keyword. And then you can add various topics to your project and also start writing each one of these topics. And you can even do audits as well. So this is one audit I created. So this is one of my blog articles. I gave it the URL and also the keyword I want to rank for. And it says I need to improve my SEO score to 75. Right now it is a 72. And these are all of my top ranking competitors. We can see the meta tags that need to be updated, keywords I need to use, um, content issues, and I can compare statistics with my competitors. And it also tells me how to optimize my headers as well. And there's also some additional analysis reports as well. So we can reverse engineer um, articles that we want to rank higher. So you give it a URL and an analysis keyword, and it compares your article with your main competitors. So this is me, I'm ranking 63, and it checks my article and my competitors against all of these elements. So, it's set, so it checks whether or not the keyword is in the URL, in the title, header tags, so on and so forth. So basically what you can do is make sure that all of these elements that your competitors have, you have as well, which will help increase your chances of ranking much higher. You can also view your ranked keywords, check out on-page fixes for your website, view all of your pages, and also do a content gap. Okay, now if you want me to do a much more thorough review and demo, just leave a comment and I'll try to record one for you. Now, Ranklytics is on sale on AppSumo starting at $59, and you could purchase up to tier three for 360 bucks. So these are all the core features, and these are your three plans that you can purchase. I think the sweet spot would be a uh, tier two. I like the limits, and I like how you unlock auto scheduling as well. So if you want the AI to generate um, articles on whatever schedule you set it, you can use uh, this feature. Now, if you want API access and white labeling, you can go for tier three, but I think for most of us that might not be needed. So I would just go for tier two. Pismo. So this is similar to Merlin AI and also Voila, but with Pismo, this is a desktop application. So you could use Pismo basically on any application. Okay. So, and this is how it looks like. So it's essentially like ChatGPT on your computer. This also reminds me a little bit of Alice, but I think Alice is a little bit more advanced. So you basically can give it a prompt or copy and paste text here, and you can improve writings, fix spelling and grammar, and so forth. So we can give it a prompt. So I said, turn this into a short social media post, and I pasted some text here, and here is what it generated. You can copy to the clipboard and paste it. Insert below, so if you are writing an email, you can insert whatever the AI generated into your email. Regenerate if you want, so very easy. Now, Pismo also allows you to create and save prompts, okay? So they have tons of standard prompts, but you can create your own custom prompts, and those custom prompts can be added in this dropdown right here as well. So if you click on Open Generator, it'll go to uh, ChatGPT, and it'll show you the Pismo AI Prompt Generator. So you can basically create your own prompts and save it here, and you could use it whenever you want. So let me just write um, SEO title tag, and Pismo will generate a prompt to create an SEO optimized title tag. Then we can copy this, name our prompt in this window, give it a command, then click Save. So now when I toggle on Pismo, we can see that prompt we generated right here. So just click on SEO title tag, and it says, could you please provide more details about your web page, including the main keyword and a brief description of its content? So just answer their uh, prompt, and here we go. So it generated the title tag right here. Okay, now if you want me to do a much more thorough review and demo of Pismo, just leave a comment down below. Now, if you're interested in Pismo, it's on sale on AppSumo starting at uh, 39 bucks for tier one, and you could get tier two for $109. So these are the deal terms and conditions. So all future pro plan updates, these are the 
These are the features that are included in all plans. So depending on how often you think you will be using this tool um, will help you decide between these two tools. I have tier one because I think 2000 requests per month is um, good enough uh, for me. But if you want unlimited requests, you can go for tier two. And regarding the AI model, the app uses a uh, GPT-40 mini. So keep that in mind. Video to blog. Now this one kind of surprised me when I uh, got this and started using it. I was um, pretty impressed. So you could basically um, give it your YouTube video and it'll turn your video to a blog, right? Video to blog. So let me show you how this one works like. So I found a YouTube video uh, from Surfer's uh, channel. So you basically give it the video uh, URL. So the AI used the video content to write an entire blog article. There's headings, there's bullet points. It also includes screenshots from the video and it places it in your article. It includes table of contents and you can also include the actual video in your article as well. And what's really nice is that you can also add a call to action in your article. And you can also tweak any of the text as well. So you can highlight it, um, change, the formatting, and you can also use the AI to tweak it even further as well. And once you like how your article looks like, you can then export it. And these are all the various export options. So this is a great tool for all the YouTubers out there who want to use their video content as blog articles uh, for their website. And it also includes some features similar to Surfer SEO as well. So you can turn on this uh, right hand rail and view the SEO score. You can see the readability. It also has an AI content detector. Right now it says this blog appears to be written by AI, but you can humanize it. And it also scores the content structure. Now when you create this blog, you need to give it a um, target keyword. And in this case, I put down best SEO strategies and it'll score your article against this key phrase and it gives you an overall score and it gives you these statistics as well. So you could look at all of this data to make sure that your article is optimized before um, you go ahead and export it. You can also view the metadata for this article and you can also copy and paste all of these social media posts to promote uh, your video and article. Okay, now if you want me to do a much more thorough review and demo of video to blog, again, just leave a comment below. Now video to blog is on sale starting at $49 and you could go up to tier five for 1000. So these are the deal terms and conditions. So all tiers are tied to all future video to blog updates. So that's a little vague. Now let me actually check out the website really quick just to see what types of plans or pricing they have. Okay, so it looks like they have uh, three plans on their website, but on the AppSumo deal, it doesn't say a specific uh, tier, either Starter Pro or Pro Plus. It just says all future video to blog updates. So that might be a little red flag for me. So just keep that in mind. So the higher tier you go will unlock additional uh, blog post limits. So with the highest tier, you do get 200 blog posts per month. So depending on how many YouTube videos you create or you find across YouTube will help you determine which tier you want to get. So you could use, again, your own YouTube videos or other uh, YouTube videos. Chat Playground AI. So, so this one is similar to Merlin and also Magi. It's a tool that basically leverages a handful of AI models in one. So this one is a Chrome extension. So this is how the extension looks like. So what's cool is that you can give Chat Playground a prompt and it'll push your prompt to all of these AI models at once. So let me um, give it a prompt. So let's see here. So my prompt says generate a Facebook post to promote this page. And now that prompt is pushed to ChatGPT 01 Preview, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Perplexity. So you could see Perplexity was still going. It generated quite a bit, as you could see. Claude just generated this single post, and this is ChatGPT 01 Preview and Gemini 1.5 Pro. 
So at a glance, you could view all of the generations at once and then just pick the one that you like. I personally like how Perplexity um, generated the response because it created one, two, three, four, five um, posts that I can use. But I do like how uh, ChatGPT and Claude added uh, the link to my post as well. Now, similarly to Merlin and Voila, you can use their browser copilot. Now, throughout this video, you have been seeing this browser copilot pop up. So if I go to this page, you can highlight and you see this. This is Chat Playground AI's um, browser copilot. So you can highlight um, any text and then just click on Ask AI and you can have the AI do all of these changes. So you can summarize it. So if you click on that, it'll show up in this right hand rail and it'll summarize it. And you can choose from all of these um, AI models. You can also use the page content and ask questions like, like summarize this page and ChatGPT 4.0 uh, will summarize uh, this page here. You can also generate articles or documents as well. So you can use their chat to help you write an article or you can um, choose from various uh, templates as you can take a look in this drop down as well. So you could create um, profile bios, landing page content, ads, email, and so forth. There's also some learning companion features like creating flashcards, AI notes, you can chat with YouTube. And this is the coolest feature and that's Mixture AI. So it'll basically combine all of these language models and Mixture AI will synthesize all of that into one answer. So let me show you how that works. So I gave it a prompt, explain SEO to a grandma. So all of these four AI models will um, generate the response. And once it is done, Mixture AI will generate its response using these four answers. So this is, I would say, a very thorough um, response. And I would probably use Mixture AI versus just single-handedly each individual um, LLM. And very quickly, these are all of the chatbots or the AI models that you can uh, choose from. There's tons of them. They even have image chatbots as well. Now, if you want me to do a much more thorough review and demo, just leave a comment below. So you can purchase Chat Playground AI starting at $59 on AppSumo, and it goes up to $650. So these are the deal terms and conditions. So all tiers are tied to all future pro plan updates, and these are the features included in all plans. So keep note of this, okay? So the plans are tied to these AI models specifically. So with tier one, you get 300 queries per month, and one team member seat. But if you go for tier two and higher, you can bring your own AI key. Now with tier five, it just increases the limits. So the queries per month and also the team seats. I would say the sweet spot would be tier two because you do get double the queries per month compared to tier one. You get two team seats and you can bring your own AI key. So you could basically use it unlimited, right? Because you have your own AI key. So I personally would go for tier two. All right, so those were the hottest AI tools I found on AppSumo this month. Now, if you want my checklist of the top marketing tools I love, don't forget to click the link in my description to get free access to this checklist. I try to update this as often as possible. So this list is constantly changing. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel. And if you wanna check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.